has always been a core value for Volvo. You can see that focus in every design that comes to production. Our aspiration remains to have zero workplace accidents. One way to get there is by removing the operator from dangerous situations entirely and operating machine via remote control. With me today, I have product manager Todd Canigator, who's here with me, um, and we can talk about purposeful innovation. I think that's an interesting phrase, right? Um, so, so we were just looking at, what were we looking at? That's the, the 250 remote control machine. So that was fully remote control? It's remote control, it's a line of sight remote control. Oh, cool. You can operate it with a, a remote that's and, you know, at your waist. And I think we have a video. So we're gonna go to a video to get a much closer look at what we were just talking about. Then we'll come back and answer some questions. Viewers, stand by, watch this. Hi, I'm Mark DeBras. And I'm Todd Canigator. And today we would like to present to you something we are going to feature at Con Expo, and that is the EC250 Remote Control Excavator. This solution is provided to us by a third-party partner, CEES, out of Southern Sweden. This application will be strictly available through the aftermarket on the EC250 and EC300. And with that, we're at the customer center here in Chippensburg, Pennsylvania, and Todd would like to demonstrate the features and application of this. So with the remote excavator, you are able to take the operator out of the seat and be able to move him away from any danger that he might be in. So the benefit of the remote is that you have increased safety for the operator and also for others at the site. This remote control machine is part of a bigger vision for Volvo where we continue to evolve and continue to change with our customers' needs. And that will include tele-remote operation in the future, also autonomous, semi-autonomous, which is already have some of those now. So you can operate most of the functions of the machine with this remote. Of course, all the main functions can definitely be operated with the remote, and I will go through those in a little bit. So with the remote, you have the ability to turn on and off work lights. Both the front lights, work lights, and also the rear work lights. You also have the ability to turn on and off the rotating beacon. And you can start and stop the machine. You can start the engine. Once you've started the engine, you can adjust the throttle. And then you can obviously operate the machine with boom up, boom down, bucket curl in, bucket curl out, arm out, arm in, and also swing. You also have the ability to move the machine both forwards, backwards, also to turn right or to turn left. And if this machine has a rotating grapple on it, like the machine does at Con Expo, you would have the ability to rotate that grapple and also to open and close that grapple. So next to the rotating beacon, you'll notice a different light tower that's not on our normal Volvo excavators. That is specifically for the remote control and it gives somebody from the ground the ability to see the status of the machine and what the status of the remote control is with the machine. The bottom light indicates that the machine is ready to accept a signal from the remote. The flashing green light at the top indicates that the remote is connected to the machine. And then there's also an amber and a red light on that light tower that reflects machine possible error codes. With the remote control, one of the key features is the ability to keep the operator in a safe position. One example of that is in the demolition application. If the machine is in a position where they're gonna be pulling down a wall and potentially it could fall towards the machine, this remote gives the operator the ability to operate that machine from a line of sight of up to 100 meters, or about 100 yards, and stay in a safe position.
All right. So I can't help but think when I saw that video of kids playing with remote control cars, right? We were just talking about. Um, but I know that Volvo Remote Control addresses some very important issues, primarily safety, right? Can we talk a little bit more about that, how that came to be? Yeah, with the remote control, you can take the operator and you know move them out of the cab into a, a more safe... Which um, we saw in that video, right? So he's standing outside. Exactly. So some applications like demolition, um, you know, you might be doing the demolition work, but then when there's a situation where maybe the, the operator might feel like something might fall on them or go into a building that's, that's unsafe to be in, you could use the remote control to be able to still complete the task and keep that operator safe. Now, I'm sure that operators are thinking, is this going to replace my job, right? I mean, audiences, that was my first thought, too. I wonder what the threat is to them. Is that the case? Uh, that's not really the case. Um, they have to... They still have to operate it. And, and the machine can be operated both with the remote control and also uh, the, the way it would normally be operated with an operator in the cab. So technically, what it does is it allows an operator to continue to operate it the normal way, but when in when it's a safety issue, they can actually be outside the cab. So it's actually better. Exactly, yeah. And also, like, you might have, we talked about demolition, but maybe there is the situation where you're working with hazardous materials. And you don't um, want to be that close. You don't want that operator to be within, uh, you know, within a certain zone or within a certain area of where they're stirring up hazardous materials. So then you can keep them out of safe. the way and keep them in a safe position. I didn't consider that. That's so true. Now, operators, um, so, Let's grab some questions from the chat for um, gearheads in our audience, right? Um, uh, let's go a little more in depth on the technology and how that works. So what the remote control does is it more or less intercepts the signal from the, the joysticks and the controls in the cab and then uses the remote control to, to, to provide the same signal. That's what we're the, seeing. To the machine, exactly. What you're watching here is, yeah, this is, is live, live here. At, yeah at Con Expo, and they're operating the grapple um, and moving the machine around with so the remote So he's control. doing all of this with the remote control? Exactly. That's you what we're watching. You see the video there, there's nobody in the cab. Wow. And there's the remote control. Yep, Look exactly. So a lot of times we do get questions about the, the range of the remote control. Exactly. So the, the remote control, we say it's good for about 100 yards. Um, it is a line of sight remote control. That means you need to be able to see. See what you're doing. You need to be able to see the machine and see what you're doing. Which is also additional safety feature too, because you don't want to be running the remote control in s some other box somewhere else and not being able to see what's actually going on. Exactly, yep. So you're basically standing around it. Um, now the remote control um, here in the booth, um, what's the most common questions that you've heard people say when they've seen this? Have, have people seen this before? A lot of people have not seen this before. Not in person, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of questions we get was, oh, I didn't know you have it. I guess that's more of a comment. But then uh, a lot of questions are, what's the reason why? Is the, the, right. the situations we just talked about? And it's surprising how many people, oh, I hadn't thought of I that. I hadn't thought of that, right. Exactly. And then they start to see, you can see the, you know, their mind thinking about, oh, I could use this to do more do jobs. More jobs, exactly, once I'm used to it. So how long does it take to get acclimated to the remote controls? Pretty, pretty quick, really. So we delivered the first one to a, a demolition customer last month. And it was wow. at the NDA, which is a, a demolition show. And they have an active, one day it's an active um, show where operators can, can get in and operate the machines. Try it out for themselves. And they had, the, the customer who bought it, they actually had one of their operators who had never operated uh, the remote control before, but he had operated remote controls on different types of equipment. And within five minutes, he was taking concrete, he was pulverizing it, separating the rebar out, and he was doing it very, very efficiently. Wow. Oh, well, there we go. So what are we seeing here on the screen right now? That's the remote control, that's the actual? Exactly, that's the actual remote control that the operator would, would stand with. And you can see that the joysticks there are Similar controls, or the same controls essentially as what you have in the cab. Okay. Um, the only difference is to, to do the rotate and the up and uh, open and close of the grapple, you rotate those uh, tops of the joysticks. 
And then you also have full control of the tracks, independent tracks and, and also straight travel, so they, it travels in a straight line. So it would be familiar to someone who's already used to operating it, correct? Yep, exactly. How cool, you, you do know that I'm gonna need to go down there and check this out. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, I know you're sitting at home, but yes, I'm going to need to try this. Um, so what other, what other questions have you heard? Um, oh, here's another one that came in. Um, is this technology used for any other machines that might be in the future? It is certainly possible. Uh, looking at this, expanding this to additional excavators right now, it's only the 250 and the 300. The 530 and the 550 is coming uh, later this year. Okay. But then we're looking to expand to, to more excavators in the future. And there's been talks about expanding to some of our other products. So what would, this is a great question. How much of a work day would somebody be in the machine or not in the machine? Does that... I think it would really depend upon the job. Um, I would say there might be situations where you do the, the whole job and, and you're in the machine the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, or it might be a situation where only at the most critical time, which when you'd use the remote. So I think it really depends upon the job site. And what do you think the percentage of customers might need this? Is there, do you know? I, I would say uh, of all the customers out there, it's a pretty small percentage. But when the, the customers who do need it, uh, I think it's going to help to get them more jobs, uh, even though they'll be able to use the machine normal most of the time. You know, they probably might only use it 5% of the time with the remote. The rest of the time, the operator's in the cab. And I would assume that once people try it, especially here, if you're at Con Expo, you have to try it, um, you can probably see that where those applications might come in. Yeah. Besides the safety issue, or hazardous materials, those kind of things, I would assume. Um, because standing outside sometimes is not the most <laughs> optimal, <laughs> right? <laughs> so any other questions that you can think of or any other um, specifics about this that might be of interest to people who might not be at the show this week? Uh, so, sometimes you talked about the familiarity of the controls yep. and, and how hard is it to get used, used to it. The other thing I think when, when we first got it and we first started using it at our, at our customer center in Pennsylvania, um, one thing that was surprising was how comfortable the remote actually is to, to wear. It's not like it's, uh, it's, it's hanging not off your heavy. waist. I don't know if you noticed, there, there was a shoulder strap that really helps to, to take the weight off of, your, off of your back and not, you know, it's really pretty comfortable. I love it. It's so forward thinking when you think about it. It's like all the things that you could do. So it's like kids playing with their toys when they're smaller and now they got to be adults and they've created all these things and now they've had more stuff. So we've come a long way since those uh, remote control cars, right? So um, the EC2050E with remote control is actually here at Con Expo live in our premier operating arena. If you share our enthusiasm for safe operating and think the remote control setup you saw is a fit, please scroll down, click the Le Let's Connect button and speak to your Volvo product expert or a local dealer and try it out for yourself. Investments in operator safety are good investments. Up next, Volvo at Con Expo Live will step away from Volvo machines and services just for a bit to see what Con Expo attendees are up to in Las Vegas. Don't miss hearing about all the interesting and fun things they've seen and experienced so far this week. Stay tuned. Watch this.